Hey, and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and I'm having a great weekend because I got to nerd out really, really hard and do a lot of cool new things I'd never done before in regards to mining and discovering new coins, um, doing some cool research in the crypto space, and actually doing some cool contributions um, to some projects. So getting to uh, kind of dabble in a world that that's what I've been looking to do with this channel, and I'm really excited about that. So all of you out there that have uh, been working with me and talking to me, I really appreciate you and your time. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Got my dog in here right now, so he keeps bumping me around, but he's being a good boy, keeping keeping chill right now. So um, I'm going to talk about uh, folding at home, and maybe you've never heard of this before, but maybe you have, but this is um, something that I discovered uh, this weekend, and I thought it was fascinating. I wanted to share it with you guys. Because I did a video real quick. A lot of people were asking me to do a video on mining, okay? And so I had to do that video. That was mostly for my friends and my family. Um, I know I, I know not everyone enjoyed that um, as much as, you know, some other things. But I did get some good feedback, and some people said that if it wasn't for that, they wouldn't have been mining, and they are now. Um, and some people reported how much they're making each day now because of it. So um, I feel good that I was able to help some people uh, make some money. Um... Uh, right out the gate, same day. All right, so folding at home essentially is a concept of um, using your idle processing power when you're not using your computers to essentially contribute to science. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know that I do grid coin, and it's the same concept as grid coin, except this is so much more simple than grid coin, and that's why this one fascinates me, and I'm actually wondering why I haven't ran across it yet. So. Um, essentially, Folding at Home is a project focused on disease research. The problems we're solving require so many computer calculations. We need your help to find it. And so you can actually contribute. You can go to the website, which is folding.stanford.edu. You can see it up here. Um, so it is something done by Stanford and I believe the Hong Kong Institute um, partnered on this. And uh, essentially, you can come over here. You can uh, click this and actually download for whatever you have. Now that's cool and all but what I wanted to show you is that I'm actually able to do it in my browser no downloads okay you don't even have to download um, you can actually do this right now while you're watching my channel go ahead and open up a new uh, a new um, tab and uh, you can actually type in this address right here calexpixels.com slash 1337 foundation slash fold dot php and um, right here is a little plug-in from the folding at home and uh, this site is actually being worked on uh, by the 1337 foundation it's currently being worked on right now um, they just got this up and running this weekend in fact um, so they've been working hard on it and um, so if it doesn't look like it's all ready to go that's that's the reason why they're working on it but if you scroll down to the bottom you can see that right now I am actually contributing um, and here is the team that I'm a part of I am a part of the 1337 foundation um, this is how many points our team has earned uh, you can see that I'm calculating I have it turned down real low right here is where you would actually select how much CPU um, I don't recommend doing full unless you are going to walk away from your computer for a long time. It will bog down your computer. But you can see that I'm fold. I'm actually they call it folding, but I'm just processing uh, computations. And you can read right here what I'm actually contributing to. And um, basically, it's a I don't even know how to pronounce it. Birosatin is a marine natural product shows promising and unique activity against several diseases. So essentially, uh, without going into all of this and reading it all to you, um, I'm helping do protein calculations. <laughs> like, uh, whoa, my dog's pushing me out of the way. Um, I'm doing some calculations on uh, protein and things of that nature. Um, and uh, helping with simulations. That's what I'm doing. I'm helping with simulations, using my processing power while I'm making this video. Um, and essentially, hopefully, I'm helping solve uh, cancer, HIV, AIDS, and Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is something in my family, so hopefully we can solve that soon before, before it hits. So, um, really, really cool. Now, 
If this is something you want to do, you can go do it right now, and you can fold anonymously, which means you're just going to contribute. No one knows who you are. Uh, you'll you all get no rewards. However, if you would like to earn some rewards, you can. You can actually earn some 1337 coins, um, and to do that, it's very simple. Let me show you how to earn some free cryptocurrency. Well, it's not free. It's the wrong word. Uh, you can actually earn cryptocurrency. And um, if you go to 1337coin.net, I went over this the other day, this site, but and you go ahead and you just click wallets. Um, you just go ahead and down the wallet that's appropriate for you. If you have Windows or Mac or Linux, just go ahead and download it. And um, then uh, you're good to go. You, um, it's like any other wallet. You probably have seen something similar before. Um, you're just going to download that bad boy. And then go ahead and copy and paste your address right into here, into folding as. If you put your address in there, and you make sure that you put this number in for your team, 233050, um, that is the 1337 Foundation team. You can join our team. And basically, uh, you will be rewarded with 1337 coins in your wallet, which is fantastic. Um, that, on top of the fact that um, this is a proof of stake coin, so by simply having your wallet up, here's a wallet right here, by having it up, you will earn rewards over time um, just for, for having it in here and having your wallet turned on. So, pretty cool. Um, the people over at 1337 are the nicest people I've met in this, in, in this crypto community world. And I want to make sure I'm doing them the favor of uh, bringing them uh, some recognition for what they're trying to do. They're trying to do good in the world, and that's really awesome. And so if you want to contribute, go try it out. Um, and I think it's awesome. I mean, you could you could run this at home, at work, at the library, um, wherever you are in life. You can just pop this bad boy on and start uh, earning some points. And that's really cool. And I think that's fascinating that it's that simple. I'm literally mining in a browser right now, and um, I'm gonna leave that going because uh, that's exciting. Okay. So um, other things in the news that I just wanted to talk about, um, I don't really have uh, any screens to show you when I talk about this, um, but there was a, a hack that kind of went under the radar recently. It wasn't really a real hack, but it was coin payments. Uh, I believe it's a Canadian exchange. And it wasn't really a hack as much as, a, I don't know, negligence or um, bad programming. But essentially, people were able to send uh, others, other users money um, away and out of their accounts. So that would be like me being able to send the money in your account, um, without you knowing. And it was just a quirky little bug that I could somehow like change the address or something like that. Anyhow. So people were draining each other's accounts. Simple as that. And that's what happened. Um, they are taking legal action. And uh, when, I, when I finally found that, I was like, well, maybe that's why BitShares is blowing up right now, right? So we're going to come over to BitShares, and we ask ourselves, is, is BitShares blowing up right now um, because of that? I'm going to say no. Um, and I'm going to say a few things about BitShares that I learned this weekend as well. Thanks to you guys. The reason I do this channel is to learn, and thanks to you guys, I learned a lot. I learned a ton about BitShares. And the technology that's underneath BitShares is extremely impressive. It definitely deserves to be in the top 20. I don't know how, it, it's impossible for anyone to compare all these coins, right? And try to really determine what order they should be in. Technically, the market will decide. So the market is deciding right now that um, BitShares is number eight. I'm less surprised than when I made my last video on where BitShares could go. That's all I'm going to say. I'm much less surprised now. Now that I'm starting to understand it, um, I think it's really cool. 
Um, it has stalled out here, but it's also held its ground. Um, it's been bouncing around 900 to uh, uh, the 1 billion mark. Basically, since that last video I did on BitShares. So, I think that's great. Um, it's showing some stability. Shows like um, some big money moved in and they had the intent of holding on for a while. So, pretty cool. Um, we've also seen Stratus um, correcting itself and recorrecting. It's been going bouncing between $10 and $7. And uh, right now it's back up to about 9 today. Um, I know a lot of people stacked some Stratus on that dip down to 7 And I don't blame you. Um, Stratus could easily be a, uh, a top 5 by the end of the year. It's something that I'm potentially targeting with it. Um, you can see it's not that far away from uh, moving up past bit shares. Um, Dash made a huge move as well. Huge move today, up 22% and Bitcoin is up as well. So just some crazy movement happening out there. All right, so that's enough about the market. Um, other things I wanted to kind of go over with you guys is I wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, Ubic a little bit. Um, Ubic is something that is popping up. I'm seeing it more and more. And uh, it's something that I've mined a little bit of. And uh, I'm getting to know Ubic. Uh, Ubic is uh, this video's recommendation for homework for you. Go learn about Ubic. Um, essentially, it is a, uh, f I'm not going to call it a fork, but kind of a, an Ethereum clone. Um, and uh, they're basically um, doing some pretty cool things with it. Uh, basically taking the technology and kind of designing it more for the financial side of things. Um, and so it's a pretty cool uh, coin. Now, something I wanted to talk about in this video is when you guys are looking at alternative coins and you see these type of things, you got to remember that the that when someone creates a decentralized application in this case we're talking about ethereum and ubic so if someone were to make a decentralized application for ethereum they do all the work and everything right and then they release it well there's a very high probability that it's going to take little to no work sometimes no work um to basically get it over onto Ubic, okay? So because of that, there's some potential value there. There's some potential support. Um, so will these uh, other chains and things of that nature eventually uh, pick up some steam? Absolutely. There's a high probability of that. And um, so yeah, it looks like Chewy wants to join the channel here. Hi, Chewy. Say hi, Chewy. Oh, oh. Um, he's jealous when I'm talking to you guys. He doesn't like it. Um, oh, now he's, now he's moving the screen up and down. So, Ubik's pretty cool. Um, I like what they're doing. It's worth taking a look at. That is my homework recommendation. I want you guys to tell me what you learn about it. Share in the comments below. Um, that's what this channel is about, guys. We're all learning together. I got a dog here on me now. Um, so besides that, I actually... <laughs> um, this came out on Twitter too. Ubic has been um, doing some integration to get their uh, to get them all set up with a Chrome extension wallet, essentially. Um, so that's some new news that's that came out just not that long ago. That came out on the ninth, um, and so some real, actual, tangible improvements, some actual production coming out of this team. I think that this team's taking it seriously. You must be extremely careful. It is very easy for someone to copy and paste code and create a blockchain and actually not do anything with it and just try to make a bunch of money. Um, however, that is not the case here. Okay? Um, it appears that they are doing some good work. Um, it is going up and up in price. And um, it's worth considering. Other coins I want to talk about, just one other one, is Rise. Um, Rise is uh, interesting to me. It's it's a fork of um, 
Well, I wouldn't want to say a fork, but it's a combination uh, of um, arc. It's a little bit of arc and a little bit of another coin that um, I had never heard of before. Um, but essentially it goes with the delegate concept where you have multiple delegates and things of that nature. And um, it's very, very interesting. Uh, take a look at Rise. That's another one that I would recommend. Uh, you take a look at this week. I think it's very important um, that you look at this one. This one to me has quite the community behind it. Rise has had a shaky history. Apparently, uh, if I'm understanding it correctly, the original person who started Rise um, kind of, you know, I don't, I'm not going to use the word scam or something, but this, things just didn't really work out. But the community came and rallied around it, is my understanding. And um, and now it's really starting to take off. And that's really starting to happen with a lot of coins, guys. I want to make sure you guys are paying attention to other coins that are out there. Um, and I keep calling them coins. We need to call them projects. Coin isn't even the right term. We're talking about blockchain technology and solutions, okay? I need to stop using that. I'm getting lazy when I'm <laughs> and saying coins. But what's happening out there right now is a beautiful thing. And it's called money. <laughs> And these coins are giving, uh, are helping fund projects um, that couldn't have happened a year ago, right? So there are a lot of small mon pa shop um, coins that all of a sudden are very real, very real. Um, and what it is is um, these coins have started picking up traction, getting some volume on exchanges, and the prices are going up. Um, and there are some people who have been able to quit their jobs and focus on their projects. Actually, you know, people are actually being given the opportunity to run their projects um, that they always dreamed of doing. And so you're seeing some amazing talent, some of the smartest people in the world come out of the woodworks um, to where they, you know, they, they played around as a hobby um made did some blockchain work for a while had a little fun um and then unfortunately because of financial reasons just they just had to go and you know they got to focus on their other other opportunities right well now blockchain technology has become one of the biggest opportunities for them and uh they're coming out and they're and and you're starting to see these small little coins that um may have appeared dormant for a long time all of a sudden wake up and so i don't know what to call it i, I, I i'm trying to come up with a term or a name um for the awakening that is happening but um i spend enough time in all of bitcoin uh talk and slack and github and uh reddit and i spend enough time that uh that i've noticed and felt and seen this start to happen and um so there's a movement happening um that we can't see it's a decentralized movement and that's really cool and i'm excited to uh be a part of it and i'm really excited for all those people who are uh, getting the opportunity to uh truly uh make their projects happen so um you guys apologize my dog is just he's all over me right now he's so jealous of you guys he gets super jealous he's a jealous puppy um and he is a huge dog okay so that's actually all i got for you tonight guys i've been nerding out this weekend um so that's it for the news I'm just going to talk about a little bit of what i've been doing um i got um a uh, bunch of monitors set up now here uh, so that I can start uh, going to the next level. So hopefully you guys will see the results of that soon. Um, I spent a lot a lot of time actually having to do actual work that, you know, this weekend. Um, I, I spec'd out and built out a few new mining rigs and things of that nature. Um, I, I've been uh, talking with some people on different projects. Uh, I've been talking to a few people about um, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm not promised anything, maybe some interviews, things like that, maybe some, um, you know, uh, some ex exclusivity news, potentially, 
I've also been looking at contributing to some projects, some of these projects that are growing up out of nowhere, um, trying to figure out how I can bring my professional skills um, into the space to help them achieve their goals. Um, so I've been looking into that. And uh, overall, uh, this, is, uh, this is basically like my second job at this point, guys. And I'm having a blast. And um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. Um, but the news is still really important to me because none of this would have been happening without this without this channel. Honestly, it's the reason I created this channel was to connect with real people in the space that's actually happening now, and I'm having a blast. Um, it's happening at a rate that I never dreamed of, never imagined, um, and I still pinch myself every day when I come home from work because it's like going to a different life. This is a different life that I'm living. Um, this is not a normal thing I'm doing. Um, every decision I make every day, everything that I uh, am doing with my free time is absolutely not what a normal person would do. And my dog just wants to eat, <laughs> eat me right now. He is eating my ears. So um, that being said, uh, my dog, he, he doesn't care how hard I'm working. He comes first and uh, it's all about Chewbacca, isn't it, Chewie? Yeah. You know, this, this video is probably going to get more people watching it just for my dog than for me at this point because he's pretty beautiful. He's a beautiful dog. But he needs to get down. Um, he is wanting to play, and so I need to play with the dog. Anyhow, I just want to give a couple shout-outs. I want to uh, shout-out to um, some some people over at 1337. Um, those guys are really, really awesome. just want to thank you guys for... Um, you know, everything you've been teaching me this weekend, what I've been learning with your guys' project. I want to thank uh, Crypto Mom because she's just awesome. Um, also, Ron Paul, uh, he's a super cool dude um, on the channel. And uh, just want to say hi to you guys. Say hi to MD711. Uh, MD711 has a secret little project he's working on for you guys. Um, it's just going to be real fun uh, when that rolls out. And I'll be looking for that in the next few weeks here. Um, but besides that, um, I've got. A crazy few weeks ahead of me um, in this world things I have planned things I'm working on um, you know I've got I've got a few mining rigs I've got a build and things like that so I'm hoping to bring you guys some some of that type of uh, those videos as well not so much about just mining but just I may be doing my shows on site while I'm actually building these things and I'll give you kind of a little, a little bit of insight on what I've been doing so if you guys are interested in that, there'll be some videos on that. Um, so yeah, my you know my show is I'm still trying to figure out um, what you guys like, or what you guys don't like. What I do know you guys like is you guys really really like the market news. I'm going to try to do more market focused news on what's going on. Um, and I think I think at some point here we're going to have to start having different types of shows. Um, and I'm going to have to give them all names and things like that. Um, we'll have to have do news of course, and then. Maybe we'll have market market news and um, you know, and then maybe some how to do how to do the do. Um, we may have to uh, have some do videos as well um, because a lot of you guys keep asking me how do I do this, how do I do that, how do I do this, and I need to start helping you guys better. So, and if there's a if there's demand for it, I just want to make sure I'm giving you guys what you guys are asking for. I want to help you guys out and help you learn. So. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it um, for this episode. Again, your homework is Ubik. Go ahead and do some research on that. Uh, let me know what you find. Let me know what you think, um, what type of targets you might have if, if you were to invest, where you think it's headed, whether it's up or down. You know, maybe, maybe you think the project is going nowhere. I want your opinions because I, I don't have a strong opinion. All I know is I mine some just, just to uh, check it out, have some, um, and uh, see where it can go. Uh, but I'd much be much rather be mining Ethereum, so that's that's what I focus on mostly right now. Uh, not not 100%, but uh, majority mining. So anyhow, guys, I appreciate you and uh, and enjoyed this episode and I enjoyed the live chat earlier today. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Um, as always, uh, like, subscribe, share, go over to Steam it, uh, sign up for Steam it if you if you haven't and. Uh, Definitely shoot me an upvote over there. Really.